Hello friends, it is Mad. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you are new, make sure you click that subscribe button to become a part of the trendiest place on the internet. Today's video has been so incredibly requested. It's not even funny. First of all, I would like to mention the amount of DMs that you guys send me about FIT is literally the most amazing thing ever. We've been able to build such an incredible relationship based off of this school, which is mind-blowing to me, and I love meeting you guys on campus. I love getting your messages, telling me that you got accepted. It is just so amazing. So thank you to everybody who follows me from my FIT videos and reaches out to me on Instagram, and those of you that I've been able to actually build a relationship with that is amazing i love you and thank you with these videos please don't hesitate to reach out to me through instagram if you have questions about anything fit related i graduated from the advertising and marketing communications associates degree and i'm currently a junior in the cosmetics and fragrance marketing bachelor's degree so i've been at fit for a minute i have some some knowledge up here i just realized that my sad this is an fit sweatshirt by the way i understood the assignment okay if you have any questions about anything application dorming i did dorm in alumni hall my first year at fit i now have an apartment classes majors anything message me on instagram comment below i got you we will get through this together i have compiled a list of everything that i would deem as an, an essential for dorming at fit not only is this good for fit but i think it's pretty universal for most colleges just things that when i was dorming i wish i had brought with me so this list is stuff that you guys should definitely have have with you if you are going to be dorming and things that just changed my life and made dorming life a lot easier because dorming can be really hard like let's be real about it you're in a small space with other people some dorms don't have bathrooms some don't have kitchens you're eating dining hall food it's not the most 100 ideal and comfortable situation but you can make amazing memories you can make the best of it it can be really fun with that all being said let's get started with the fit dorm essentials i'm also not going to be talking about the list that FIT gives you. I'll put it up right here. Take a screenshot. I'll smile because that stuff is just kind of like a given. This is going to be more like out of the box stuff that like maybe you wouldn't think about. So let's get started with just discussing the different dorm styles and buildings offered at FIT. For freshmen, there are three different building choices. We have alumni hall, we have Nagler, and we have co-ed. I lived in alumni, like I said, this is an apartment style dorm. You have two bedrooms, a kitchen, and a bathroom. You have laundry on the floor. There is one washer and one dryer per floor, which girl can we just talk about that for a second fit if you happen to be watching this video more washers and dryers please thank you so that's alumni and then we have co-ed which is kind of a mix of different dorms co-ed is co-ed it's anybody can live there so there are double rooms and triple rooms which have floor wide communal bathrooms. The upper floors are quad style apartments with private bathrooms and a kitchen. And then we have Nagler Hall. If you're looking for that typical classic college experience, Nagler Hall would be for you. It is traditional style dorms. The dorms themselves are actually fairly spacious. You get like a big wardrobe, you have pretty good views, big windows, and communal kitchen and bathroom. For upperclassmen, there is Kaufman Hall, which is the off-campus dorms that's over towards Hudson Yards. The biggest issue with Kaufman Hall as of right now, there's a lot of construction going on in that area. So if you don't sleep well with construction noises outside your window or you find it distracting to get schoolwork done, you may want to consider talking to the school to see if there's any accommodations for other dorm buildings or consider off-campus housing. So now that we've established the types of dorms at FIT, let's get into the essentials, starting with the tech essentials. First is a Bluetooth speaker and a shower Bluetooth speaker. This was so, so essential and I didn't even bring it myself. One of my roommates did. We used our speaker literally every single day. We loved when we would hang out in our kitchen just listening to music. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Having a Bluetooth speaker is really fun, especially when you have some friends over and then one for the shower so you aren't distracting the rest of your roommates. Next are extension cords and power strips. Oh my goodness. Tell me why I only brought one power strip. Girl, I needed so many more than that and 
and I wound up having to buy them once I was in the city. There's only like so many outlets in the dorms, and especially when you're sharing it with somebody else. It's just way easier if you get a power strip. Instead of having to like move your dresser out and then plug something in, like just get some extension cords and power strips and you will be all good to go. Next is noise canceling headphones. And with that, like a white noise machine, if that's something that you and your roommate agree upon, get a white noise machine. It's super helpful. It kind of drowns out the noise of the rest of the building. If you live on a particularly loud floor, I have one now that I still use. Living in an apartment building in New York City is, is loud. It's really hard to escape that here. So having ways that make sleep more comfortable for you is super important and same with noise canceling headphones if you find that other sounds going on outside uh, distract you while you're doing your work while you're hanging out get some noise canceling headphones and you can kind of live in your own <laughs> bubble something else I'd recommend that I didn't have but wish I had was a laptop tray slash desk for my bed because I'm the type of person who likes to be doing work in my bed but especially in your dorm when you don't have a lot of workspace options finding ways to make good use of each area of your room is super important next up our kitchen essentials which this obviously only applies to apartment style dorms but there's still some things here that I think are important for people who are in traditional style dorms. The first one being a Brita filter or a Brita pitcher. We have the pitcher, New York City tap water, questionable, questionable behavior. Next, for anyone who has a fridge or a freezer in their apartment, get ice cube trays. I don't believe that our fridge had like an ice maker, so we had ice cube trays. And then specifically for apartment style dorms, you can bring a microwave, so definitely bring one. Try to get a smaller one because, you know, you won't have a ton of space. And then this is so random, but like, the dorms don't come with garbage cans and especially apartment style dorms, like you don't get a, a kitchen garbage can, but even in general, uh, bring trash bins. So next is going to be desk and workspace essentials. And obviously as students, this category is super important to increase our productivity and make sure that we are getting done what we need to get done. The first thing is going to be desk lamps slash like lighting of your choice. For me, as you could see, I have a um, sunset lamp. For me, that's like very soothing. Lighting is so incredibly important to my success when I'm working and when I'm just existing. So getting a lamp, some sort of lighting fixture on your desk that works for you is super key. Next is a file organizer. Your desk in your dorm does have two side drawers and then one long drawer. You wind up just throwing so much stuff in there so get folders get a file organizer however that looks for you in terms of organizing papers and files and stuff like that just do what works for you next i got like a chair organizer so it just kind of velcroed onto the back of my chair and it had a bunch of pouches that was really nice for things that I needed on the go, like my umbrella. I folded up like tote bags and put them in there just to grab and go. Just things that I would need but didn't really have anywhere else to go. You can also use that to organize some stuff from your desk. I would also recommend getting a fan that can clip onto the side of your desk. The dorms can get pretty warm at times, so having like a breeze would be really nice. And then just with that, generally a small fan for your dorm is pretty essential. Once again, that also kind of blocks out sound, but also cool you guys down a little bit next is a whiteboard or a bulletin board so definitely something that was really helpful for me it kept me organized last in this category which i guess could also fall into tech but a charging station my desk was right next to my bed so that's kind of where i put all my stuff at night like i had my medicine there i had my phone my charger all of that stuff right there my airpods so having one of those charging stations that will charge your apple watch your phone your airpods will have a little space like a little cubby for medications or things you might need at night is super super handy and will keep you very organized and will keep you from losing your stuff. The next category is a fairly short one, but it is bathroom essentials. And once again, these things can go for both apartment style and traditional style dorms where you're using communal bathrooms. These things are just really essential. Shower shoes or like slides or flip flops, just something, especially in communal living, um, you do not want your feet on that floor period there's just no question about that so definitely some sort of shower shoes and also i would recommend with that just bringing like clorox wipes with you to the communal bathrooms just to wipe down the shower before you use it next would be a shower caddy this is really essential for both uh dorm styles the bathrooms in apartment style dorms aren't huge so what we did in our dorm is we just kept 
all of our bathroom stuff that we needed for the shower under our beds in a caddy and when we would need to use the shower we would just take it into the bathroom same with traditional style dorms you're gonna bring your shower caddy to the traditional style bathrooms okay poopery obvious reasons it's a dorm it's small just bring it have your own back on this one and then lastly is a robe and slippers this is something that i did not bring and i wish i did the best way i could explain this is the bathrooms get so humid and warm because there's no fans when you get out of the shower you're like soaked and sticky and gross and sometimes instead of just throwing on clothes then being wet just put on your robe let yourself dry off a little bit next section is cleaning essentials this goes for both styles of dorms the first one being a swift and Swiffer pads or the Swiffer wet jet, whatever you prefer. This is key because those floors get nasty. You're gonna want to Swiffer your apartment like every day to every other day. Obviously next I mentioned before Clorox wipes and then small packets of Clorox wipes to go. Next is an air purifier. Oh my goodness, did this save my life? You need an air purifier. I don't even care which one. You could go fancy and bougie and get the Dyson. Or just get an affordable one they're all gonna basically do the same thing like i said it's gross in there clean your air and then also with that a humidifier or a dehumidifier some months of the year like in the winter we really needed that extra moisture in the air bring a humidifier for those months and then spring and summer it does get a little bit warmer next is a collapsible hamper and a drying rack for a collapsible hamper you can shrink it down and just shove it under your bed and then it's just a small drying rack the dryers at FIT destroy your clothes so I'd recommend hanging all of your clothes if possible um, you'll also save money that way you won't have to pay for the dryer got you save your money girl those dryers are like a million degrees and they tear your clothes up because of that you're gonna want to bring some protective pouches for uh, drying delicates so your underwear your bras light dainty shirts satin silks things like that I wouldn't put those in the dryer like we hang dried our underwear you put it in that dryer, girl, it is fried, it is gone, it is like melted into a ball. But if you do take the risk, bring some delicate washing bags. The next category is decor essentials. If you want your room to look cute, which I think we all do, here's what you need because there are a lot of rules, okay? Command strips, command hooks, command velcros whatever you think you will need oh my gosh those do those things come in handy all my purses over here are hung with little command hooks like you you literally need it also blue tack super important those two things are essential if you want to hang posters photos tapestries actually you can't even have tapestries so don't bring a tapestry anything you want to hang shelves you're gonna have to hang it with command hooks with that bring sandpaper because they paint over those walls a million times so the paint is like this thick and it's like shiny you're gonna have to buff it down put your command strips and hope for the best <laughs> you can also do double-sided uh paint safe tape next is an area rug the floors get cold the floors are gross just cover it up a full body mirror we had one in the back of our bathroom door i don't know if every dorm has that so just bring one you can hook it onto your dorm door you're going to want to check your fits you're going to fashion school some of the dorms have raised beds i know alumni did alumni does not come with units to go under the bed so yeah bring some sort of plastic drawer organizer that will save your life it will give you so much storage next is a mattress pad and extra blankets the mattresses are this thin it's giving summer camp uncomfortable springy the house get a thick mattress pad and an allergy cover and then extra blankets because you never know if it's going to be cold or warm in there collapsible storage bins like this just from target they're like 10 bucks these are really great for closet organization i put like my hats in one my scarves and belts in another they're really great for organizing accessories the last thing is lighting like i said i'm big on lighting whether that's like the tiktok strip lights fairy lights whatever you want to make your room feel comfortable we had fairy lights going around our entire room okay the last category is just kind of like random things that that are essentials but didn't fall into another category so starting this one off with an eye cover and earplugs the slip silk eye cover super comfy would recommend that but oh my goodness if i didn't bring this i wouldn't have slept because if your roommate is up late doing work and they have the lights on but you're the type of person who needs it to be dark when you sleep 
an eye cover is key. That white noise, the earplugs, the eye cover, you are out cold, okay? Then a first aid kit and like medications such as like Tylenol, Tums, definitely have a first aid kit, definitely have band-aids, Neosporin, things like that. You never know what's gonna happen. Next is a lock box or a safe if you're bringing valuables, if you're bringing cash. You just never know who's gonna be in your dorm. So it's good to have a lock box to keep your valuable possessions in just in case. Last but not least, a mini toolbox. Oh my goodness, the way that this came in handy, thank goodness one of my sweet mates brought it because we needed it so many times. Screwdriver? Screwdrivers, you need them constantly. I don't know why. Okay guys, that includes everything that I think is essential to dorming at FIT. If you have previously dormed at FIT or you just have any general recommendations for things that people might need, please leave them in the comments below. I will pin those comments. I will compile a list of things and if you do have any questions like I said before my DMs on Instagram are always open the comment section here always open I love talking to you guys I love helping you guys out with FIT stuff because I know what it's like to go into college having no idea knowing nobody not knowing how to do anything not knowing where things are not knowing what to bring I understand that feeling I completely empathize with that and I want to be your big sister in this situation so please don't hesitate to hit me up to follow me to hang out with me in person i love all of you guys so much thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful and i will see you guys in my next one and please feel free to leave video requests below have a great rest of your day guys thanks for spending time with me and i will see you soon bye